if we're going to evaluate ourselves correctly, we need to deflate our egos. This is, to, this is something Paul assumes we have to do. It assumes that this is the natural tendency of the human race, and even as Christians. This is not assuming that, hey, your problem is you have self-esteem problems, and you just, you're just always criticizing yourself. You know, well, what we'll see is that that's probably pride, too, of just being self-focused too much. We must deflate our egos because pride is sin. Let me be clear on this. Pride is sin. I want you all to say that in your mind. I want you all to agree with this. Pride is not something benign. It's not okay. It's not something God is passive about. He hates it because it's an opposition of Him and His humility. If He was humble and lowly, and meek. What must he think about us lowly people thinking we're high? Us nobodies who think that we're lofty. God despises it. And this is a command. This is not a suggestion. Verse 3 says, For by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Romans 12, 16, do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. The NIV says, do not be conceited. Do not be conceited. Do not be haughty. Proverbs 3, 7 says, do not be wise in your own eyes. Sometimes that's hard for us fools to do, right? Right? It's hard for us not to think we're wise. Philip Brooks, the Puritan, says, Whatever makes us feel superior to other people, whatever tempts us to con convey a sense of superiority, that is the gravity of our sinful nature, not grace. Spurgeon says, There is nothing into which the heart of man is so easily falls into than pride. Yet there is no more vice which is more frequently, more emphatically, and more eloquently condemned by God. God condemns pride. He tells us not to be proudful, not to be conceited, not to be arrogant, not to think of ourselves more highly than we ought to think. It is a sin to be haughty, arrogant, prideful, conceited, and wise in our own sight. We must deflate our egos because pride is a false evaluation. If you're a appraiser of a property and you gave an inflated value, that's wrong. That's theft. That's dishonest. It needs to be a proper assessment, an honest appraisal. And pride is sinful because it's a lie. It's dishonest. It's not true. 